Hello my crafty friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Today I have a new design team project from My Scrap Chick. They've recently added a new file in their online store, which is this adorable purse gift box. This also holds a two cards. I had so much fun working on this project and I'm going to show you how you can make this as well. The paper collection that I used is Graphic 45's Love Notes. I think this is so beautiful and romantic. This box is quite sizable. It measures seven inches from the top of the handle to the bottom. It's six and a half inches wide and it's three inches deep. This would make a wonderful Mother's Day gift. You could use it as a bridal shower gift or a birthday gift. On the top, I have this red and tan stripe. On the lid, I have lined this with more of the same paper. And then I use this beautiful white scallop lace. On top of that, I've created this beautiful floral spray with white, red, and hints of black roses. The box is completely lined with this beautiful rhinestone, which I think adds a wonderful elegance to this project. On the side, you can see I have more rhinestones and the handles are held together with this pearl brad. This is the back. I love this paper. You can see the violins, the French horns, they're beautiful red and pink roses. I love the little sentiments here, especially this one, music be the food of love, play on. In the center, you have this large bow. Alternatively, the file also comes with a large flower that you can use in place of the bow. In the middle, I have this black heart with rhinestone trim, and then I have this chipboard piece here that says my love this is from the love notes paper collection and I'm using this as a fastener for the lid I have this held together with a bit of velcro you can also use magnets on the inside I have the box fully lined and I love the front of the box where it has this large oval cutout. That way you can see the cards inside. And as I mentioned, this box is made to hold A2 cards or you can include gifts inside. The cards that I made are from My Scrap Chick. This is their vintage oval card. Now, I wanted to create beautiful dimensional cards, but I also had limited space, so I couldn't add a lot of flowers and other embellishments. But with this card, it has three different layers, as you can see here, and I did the embellishments using the cutouts from the paper. On the left corner here, we have these fun postage stamps, and then we have this little sentiment that says, let me call you sweetheart. And then I've added in a little bit of bling at the top. I love the way the aperture looks on the front of the card. It looks like it's going into a tunnel. And this sentiment I created in Cricut Design Space. I used one of their sentiments and then I did a print and cut and I love this font. And then we have this little black bow here which I think finishes the card quite nicely. On the inside I've left it plain. So this one says thank you. This one says hello beautiful. Here we have a little cherub and a rose and more of these stamps. This says, thinking of you, happy birthday, another hello beautiful, and thank you. These envelopes I created using the A2 bracket envelope also in my scrap chick. These are really easy to make. So if you don't have an envelope maker and you wanna make these envelopes in a GIF, just simply use a digital file. This is what the inside of the box looks like. As you can see, it's completely lined. And I think that just finishes off the project quite nicely. Now that I've given you an overview of this beautiful project, let's make it together. I'm going to grab my materials and I'll be right back. I've laid out the materials to make this project. When you purchase your file, you will receive this menu. And this is called Purse with Big Bow or Flower. And here are three examples. This includes all of the files that you need 
to make this project. The file will include various formats if you're using an electronic cutting machine, so whether it's a Cricut, a Brother Scan and Cut, or a Cameo. Also, the file includes a PDF so that you can simply print this out on your favorite paper or trace it on your favorite paper and cut the project by hand. The paper collection that I'm using to make this example is by Paper Studio and it's called Pretty as a Poppy. And these are the pieces of our bag. So we have the main body and the lid. We have the front of the bag. These are the sides. This is the bottom of the bag. We have the pieces to make the bow, and this is the handle. To save time, I've already glued on the decorative panels, and I have also folded along the score lines. So this piece will go just like this. I've also included the decorative mats on the inside. Now, to begin, we'll take these side panels, and this panel you want to fold along the score line, and this is going to get glued right here on the side, right up against the score line. So I'm just going to take glue and put it here. And what you want to do is make sure you fold this in. And okay, you want to line this piece up just like so. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. As I mentioned, I've already gone ahead and glued on the decorative panel for the purposes of this demo. If you're making this at home, I suggest you save putting on the decorative panels on the inside until you've glued everything together. So we're just going to add this piece here, make sure it's lined up to the top and right to the edge. And use your bone folder to burnish. This is the bottom panel. We're going to fold this in. So I'm going to turn this to the side and then I'm going to line this piece up right to the edge just like so and then I'm going to fold it over okay and it'll fit just perfectly. Go ahead and get your glue. Again I'm going to line this piece up right to the edge. Okay I'm going to push Now that we have the bottom on, what we can do is fold in these panels just like so. So I'm going to put glue on these tabs here. Everything just falls into place. Okay. And turn this over like so and use your bone folder. Okay, and let's do that on the other side. That's just, just like so, right up to the score line. Okay, so now your front will look just like this, and we're ready to glue on this panel, which will be attached just like so. So one thing that I want to do is go ahead and add some glue right here on the inside of this panel. I'm going to do the same thing over here, just so that I can get these pieces attached to the bottom. So I'm going to put glue here. Okay, so I'm going to line this up first at the top. And then work my way around. I'm just going in and burnishing all of the edges. Now that we have our box put together, let's go ahead and put on our handle. So what we want to do first is train this. I'm just going to use one of my old Cricut spatulas and I'm just going to break down the fibers so this can be curved. You want to grab your decorative brads. In this case, I'm using these pearls. I'm going to put the brads through just like so. Put this through the holes. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side.
Now you want to grab your bow, and I've already layered this, and we want to train this as well. So it's got a nice curve to it. And these are going to be attached inside just like so. And I'm going to glue this down with some hot glue. I'm going to put some glue here at the inside of this tab. Fold it in. And you want to make sure you don't press down on this bow here because you want it to be nice and fluffy on the front of the box. And you want to do that on the other side. I'm going to grab my tails and this is a wraparound piece and this is going to be glued just like so. I'll put some glue here and I'm going to line this up right in the center of the tail and then we want to take this piece and we're going to wrap it around like so. Put a little hot glue here to hold that in place. And then we're going to fold this up, put some hot glue on the bottom of this tab, and there is your bow. And you can attach this as you wish on the front of your bag. Put an ample amount of glue right here, not too far out on tails because I don't want it to stick out. Now, if I wanted to, I could go along and add rhinestones on this. However, I think this bag is just beautiful as is. I love the paper. I don't think I really need to add much to it. But instead of putting cards in here, I'm going to stuff this with some fun beauty items. So I'll be right back. I have gathered some beauty products to include in this because I'm going to give this to a friend. I've already included some crinkly iridescent white shred in the bottom. I'm going to put in this test tube. This is lavender bath soak and lavender buds. I got this idea from Tamika from Scrap the World. So I'm going to put that here on the bottom. And I have this body cream, which is lavender. I'm going to stick that in here. I have lavender face scrub. I have this lavender bath bomb, which I'm going to stick over here on the side. I'll put more of this little crinkly paper here on the top. And then I have these two pieces of chocolate, which I'm going to stick right there. And I think that's a nice little gift, which fits perfectly in this box. This concludes my review of my purse box from My Scrap Chick. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment. Please check back tomorrow for a quick tutorial on the vintage oval A2 card that goes inside this box. Thanks so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now and happy crafting.